Sextortion, a grave cybercrime, is an act where one person threatens to distribute private and sensitive material unless the victim provides them with specific demands. These demands often involve money, gift cards, more intimate images, or even sexual favors. If you're concerned about the impact on victims and curious about navigating sextortion schemes, continue watching and subscribe to our channel for valuable insights and guidance. We've got all the information you could ever need, especially in the realm of sextortion. The impact of sextortion. Victims of sextortion are subjected to emotional distress, humiliation, and fear. The crime can have lasting psychological effects leading to anxiety, depression, and in extreme cases, suicide. The perpetrators, often hiding behind the anonymity provided by the internet, exploit the victim's fear of their private images being shared publicly. Legal precedents and prosecution. The question that arises is whether a victim of sextortion can be prosecuted. In most jurisdictions, the answer is a resounding no. The law typically recognizes the victim as someone who has been coerced or blackmailed and therefore does not bear the blame for the criminal actions of the perpetrator. However, if the victim willingly participated in illegal activities under the threat of sextortion, such as producing child pornography, they may face legal consequences. But these circumstances are rare and usually involve minors who are manipulated by adults. In the United States, sextortion cases fall under federal law. For instance, the case of United States versus Daniel Leslie Mooney in 2018 set a precedent where the perpetrator was sentenced to 40 years in prison for conducting a sextortion scheme against minors. Avoiding prosecution and measures taken by authorities. Victims of sextortion can take steps to avoid prosecution. First, they should never respond to the extortionist demands. Instead, they should immediately report the incident to local authorities and the social media platform where it occurred. They should also preserve all communication with the perpetrator as evidence. Authorities worldwide are taking measures to curb digital extortion. The FBI, for example, has a dedicated Internet Crime Complaint Center, or IC3, that handles sextortion and other cyber crimes. Similarly, the Australian government has an e-safety commissioner who deals with online safety issues, including sextortion. How we can help. And here at Digital Investigation, we aim to take care of our clients. We understand that this time is scary and it feels like your world has shifted, but there is a way to overcome this situation and come out on top. Our services offer robust protection against these types of threats. This includes our forensic analysts taking over communication, gathering as much evidence against your blackmailer as possible, proving that you are a victim, and helping victims regain control of their lives. Of course, working to remove malicious posts or harassment, and assisting in tracking down the perpetrator so that they can be arrested. So feel free to give us a call. We offer a complimentary consultation to discuss your unique situation and explore how we can assist you during this trying time. Conclusion. Sextortion is a serious crime with severe consequences for the victims. While rare cases might see victims facing legal scrutiny, the law generally acknowledges their victimhood and prosecutes the perpetrators instead. The key to combating this crime lies in awareness, swift reporting, and robust legal action against those who engage in such malicious acts. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, stay safe out there.